Okay, welcome to this mini course on Cloudflare pages. I was really like waiting to deliver this uh, kind of like slide deck. Even like I love this mini course or this video so much that I contacted the Cloudflare uh, guys and gals and asked them that I want to actually deliver a course on your mini Cloudflare pages. I really love it. Uh, the speed is awesome. Uh, but it seems that they were not up to it. So I decided that I will roll up my sleeves and do it just myself. And I try to make the content kind of like interesting enough so that you stick until the end. I can tell you that if you implement something with Cloudflare pages and you see the speed that it has on your phone or on your computer or any place like that, you will be amazed. And I have tried the same uh, project with different like providers and Cloudflare pages beats all of them. We are going to learn why Cloudflare kind of beats them regarding the speed, but I can tell you that it's amazing, like just right, amazing, like it's very good. So I'm such a big fan of it. That's why I'm making the uh, Cloudflare pages. So you, where you can use it, you're going to see, you can use probably for kind of like web blogs, SaaS company websites, or even like your SaaS offering everything like the whole range in there so everything that it can be in jam stack you can implement it with cloudflare pages that is basically every delivered project out there so it's amazing and uh, let's get into it what is the content since here uh we are going to have uh, a talk about jam stack what is jam stack actually that's like the future of the internet and I'm pretty much like hyped about it even like I've started writing some projects with it like my release channel now is with jam stack uh, we are going to talk about like real example. That is my own project and how we can have, how I have architected it. We are going to, uh, talk about like Cloudflare, how it works and see like, what are the powerful, why it's a powerful competitor in the market, how it can be like a better competitor compared to others. Also, we are going to talk about the, uh, comparison of Cloudflare pages with GitHub pages or Cloudflare pages and Cloudflare workers with Netlify. So different offerings that they are out there, how they are comparing to each other. And then we are going to see that how Cloudflare implements the Jamstack. It seems uh, that they are using Cloudflare pages and Cloudflare workers. And part five, completely hands-on, we are going to work with Jamstack. Actually, we are going to use a Jekyll project and implement it on Jamstack. Let's go. So first of all, what is Jamstack? So we have uh, on the left side, traditional web development. That is like you have some kind of like marketing website that is like tightly connected to your web server. Basically every page that it renders, it's like contacting web server and web server is kind of, re kind of rendering it for it. And then you have like app server, kind of like it even can go like a big uh, higher tiers like business logic or like uh, DB or models or all those things. So you can have as many tiers that you are seeing on the left side. That's like traditional web development. By traditional, I'm not meaning like very long ago. I mean like two, three years back because Jamstack introduced 2016 by CEO of Netlify and it has took the world actually uh, by the storm and many people are using it basically it's like big jump forward if you want to say uh, we have just in Jamstack on the right side we have just very uh, thin client by thin client i mean some kind of like a static website so you you generate a static website out of your uh, kind of like whole applications and whenever you, and that static website is going to be served via CDN. So CDNs or content delivery networks, they have been around for a good time, probably year 2000 or even before that. So these websites, they were like living on uh, like these kind of like websites. I mean, these kind of networks, they were, uh, they were having some kind of node in every city and they were kind of hosting your files to cache it and basically make your files like faster or like website faster. So whenever you are hitting Yahoo, there were some kind of like CDN in that city that they were like serving the cache data for you, basically making your experience better. But now we are having the whole website with Jamstack kind of served via CDN. That is awesome, like point awesome. Uh, means that your website is, it seems that like instead of just one location, 
in the previous traditional web, you had it just in one location. In the new web, you have it everywhere in the world. So whenever you are just hitting the website, it seems that you are hitting a server just in your neighborhood. That's amazing. And then whenever you want to have or serve kind of dynamic content, so probably like loading a list or loading uh, the user's data or anything like that, use APIs for that reason. And that APIs can just be connected to the microservices. So if you know about microservices, each of the microservices, they are like gathered around giving you one business logic or for the same one functionality of a, a company's request. So that's all about the microservices and your client would connect to microservices. One microservice can be like authentication microservice. The other microservice can be probably like when your like user like purchases something, your microservice would be cart microservice or like handling the payments microservice. So all of these ones can be microservices. Even you can delegate the job of the microservices. So for example, you are talking about the authentication, you can delegate it to Auth0. That's a company that is giving you this kind of like uh, services. So you can have SaaS instead of microservices. And at the end of the day, you can have very thin client. The speed of delivery of the project is much faster because you can replace all those microservices with different uh, applications at the end of the day. And then you can have CDN that is serv serving your website and is like, like just amazing in the speed and it has uh, awesome like user experience. So that's what you're going to have. Uh, Jamstack generally is given in like different kind of kind of like Jamstack or it's better to say that a static website is available in different like technologies. Either you are using Vue, React, Angular, or even like just pretty simple like uh, uh, MD files or like something like that. You can have Jekyll that kind of like uh, changes your MD files to some kind of UI. Then you can use boot Bootstrap in there. So everything is kind of covered in here. Uh, so whatever technology you're comfortable with, you'll find it like a version with Jamstack. Okay, now if you want to compare, this is the release channel. Uh, my recent project that I have and you can see just 100 score like 100 out of 100 so that's the user experience that I'm talking about so even not like 92 993 if you have been in this space and you have like kind of delivered projects you know that if you hit 92 93 it's damn amazing now imagine you are hitting 100 so nothing can be like that really like nothing can be that fast for you so again, like on the subject of what is Jamstack, you have some kind of like app code basically, and you have some kind of data. In app code, I can say like you have some app code or logic with Vue.js. You have some data or content using like MD5 that's pretty common these days, like mark markdown files. And you're some using some kind of build tools, probably Vue.press. If you're using Vue.js, you can use Vue.press for as a build tool in there. Uh, you can use Jekyll, uh, that's another like a static uh, site generator. Then you're going to have your static files somewhere. And then you can deploy all those static files on the cloud. Uh, recently, the uh, state of technology is in a way that even you don't need to create the pipelines. You just uh, show your, basically your code in the repository to that like uh, content provider or CDN and they will just host it for you that easy. And then what are the good things about Jamstack speed? You know about it. Stability, basically uh, when like uh, you have on, your, on the content delivery network, basically one of the servers they cannot serve your application, there's another one that can serve it for you. That gives another benefit that is the scalability and that is you have some people uh, in Toronto accessing your uh, system, you have some people in India that they are accessing your system. Both of them, they are going to have good same experience because we have servers in the India and there are servers in Toronto. About the security, basically when you are having everything in the front end and you, you are controlling your security with microservices and SaaS businesses, you are going to have much better security than or compared to the time that you are serving your applications or front end applications out of a server. So it's generated out of the server for you. So there are like more surface that you should cover when you are doing that one. If you go to Jamstack because you are just connecting with APIs, you can make sure that security is okay. 
The next one is serviceability. Basically, you can give service to different people, different folks, and use like microservices to kind of make sure that you have uh, covered all the business logics and you can add different like things to that business logic too. And the simplicity, that's the thing that I really like about it. Even like looking at this uh, picture, you know like which one is more simple, which one is better and uh, which one is easier to understand. Okay, so what is the architecture for Jamstack? So this was like uh, one picture about like architecture of it. This is another one. I wanted you to see it from different aspects, from different viewpoints. This one is from like uh, Netlify. So it's better to see it from different viewpoints so that it's kind of like internalized. Uh, so we have the here the architecture for Jamstack. Uh, here you can see the Netlify build. This is like CI CD system. They have some kind of like automated CICD system or pre-built one for you. So you don't need to change it if you don't like, but if you want to add like new features or like modern features to it, sure you can. So what happens is that this CICD system is going to connect to your repo. Uh, and then whenever like you are pushing to your repo, probably like your Vue.js files or like fr other front-end files, React or anything like that, then this build system is going to build it and make it into a static front end. So a static front end is just HTML, JS, PNG, and CSS. So your files, basically your images, your uh, HTML and J JS files, all of them are going to just being like a static files. So they're all going to be uh, kind of delivered to the users, basically computer or monitor. And then whenever user clicks it and wants something that is dynamic, uh, that UI, that front end is going to call via APIs that we are here having like Stripe, Lambdas. Stripe is like the payment technology. Again, I told you it's you can use SaaS, any SaaS offering that basically helps you deliver projects much, much faster. So you can have Lambdas. That's the way that I have done with my project and like other kind of like backend APIs. So uh, here we have uh, my architecture for actually release channel. So here you can see that uh, I have a lot of like Lambda functions. Uh, I'm using AWS offering in here. I have Amazon Dynamic DynamoDB. I have site generator. So this site generator is the one that previously they were like web server. So currently I'm just generating the MD files that they are like basically, I can say, kind of like the content of the website. And then those content of the website, it's like with ViewPress. ViewPress is one of those like static file generator, like uh, I can say applications. And then I'm going to just commit it to GitHub. Then Cloudflare is going to just get that project off the GitHub, build it, make it completely static and serve it for you. Then this Vue.js file or Vue.js frontend, whenever you want to contact to any APIs, you can just, uh, call one the one of the lambda functions that I have written here as like the backend. So why Cloudflare is like a big competitor in the market and have uh, done the project with Cloudflare. There was somebody else doing the same project with Netlify and Cloudflare was much faster. So why Cloudflare is the best because they weren't, they didn't enter the market as like the server providers. They entered the market as the CDN providers or content delivery networks. It means that they have a lot of uh, nodes, a lot of like servers in different cities. They are covering about like 200 cities, 90 plus countries. So something that is written in here, it's, it's pretty awesome. It says that 99% of internet connected uh, developed world population. It means that people in the world that they're connected to the uh, internet, 99% per of them are located within 100 milliseconds of their network. And that's why it makes Cloudflare a different kind of competitor in the market. So no other business uh, has entered the market as CDN. So there are CDNs and probably I imagine that they have a lot of servers out there and they are thinking of, okay, we have this extra capacity, what we should do with it. And all of a sudden there is like a new technology, Jamstack is coming up and these guys, they have the best network to serve Jamstack essentially. And they're like, yeah, like let's grab the opportunity. 
and it's not long before that they have launched it they have launched this jam stack or like cloudflare pages in uh i think april april 2021 it was like two months back they have just launched it what are like how cloudflare uh implements jam stack for you uh you remember i talked about there's some front end and there is some apis so the front end is like implemented by Cloudflare pages that is just serving your static websites. And the other one is Cloudflare workers that basically you can implement your APIs with it. You may ask that why I didn't implement like my APIs with Cloudflare uh, workers. The reason behind it is that I have free quota with Amazon Lambda. That's the first one. And the second one is uh, Cloudflare workers. They don't support Python. They support JavaScript natively. Uh, that's the reason that I didn't go with Cloudflare workers because they needed to kind of translate my Python language to JavaScript and that's a big uh, issue for me. I don't like it. Uh, although now in the hindsight I have implemented with Amazon Lambda, I know that like Cloudflare workers, uh, they're also a good option. Like although they, they are complex, but at the end of the day, I, th I think that like if you, I want to do pros and cons, I would go with Cloudflare workers. And let's compare it with other offerings in the market. We have Cloudflare pages, we have GitHub pages. GitHub pages has been around for a good time. Like if you're in this industry, I'm sure that you have heard about it. So GitHub pages is viable like option if you want to just have it or basically uh, give your static website or like host your ep static website. Just there is like prohibited uses, like it's on the law of the using of the GitHub pages. And that is, you are not allowed to use it for a, a very p as a free web hosting service to run your online, online business or e-commerce site. So, or any other like SaaS service, basically you cannot use it to generate money. And that's something that you don't like to do if you are developing something for like some project, either for your company or for yourself, you want to like gain some kind of like, uh, income you cannot use uh, github pages uh, but it's pretty good option if either you are serving some documents the documentation or you are serving it maybe some uh, some websites for some open source project so it's awesome for that one it's easy to work with basically what happens is that you have your code in your github repository then you can connect it to uh, github actions and GitHub Actions is like the CI CD of the GitHub and GitHub Actions will make a static web page out of it and then it can be served via uh, GitHub pages. Pretty easy, GitHub pages is amazing. Again, uh, just not for commercial websites. The next one is Cloudflare, pre Cloudflare pages vs uh, Net Netlify. Netlify, I have just recently known them. Uh, awesome offerings like like the more I know about them, the more I like them. So these guys are like professionals if you wanna like go for developing some kind of Jamstack. stack. They have all the tools, all the builds and whistles that you need. So I would say the similarities of like the uh, Cloudflare pages, VS Netlify, similarities is that both of them, they have WAF, they have DDoS protection. Also, uh, both of them, they have CDN or like content delivery network. Uh, just the difference is that the Cloudflare is better. And that's my personal experience. I don't have like any kind of like, mm, I can say professional testing to back it up or professional report to back it up. But my experience shows that it's better. Another differentiation is that like Netlify has more mature environment for Jamstack. So I would say this verdict to you that uh, nothing beats Cloudflare in the speed, but if you are looking for something that is mature, if you are looking for having your complete SaaS business somewhere that like you are, you are not going to be disappointed, I would say that just go for Netlify. You are not going to be disappointed. You are going to be like pretty happy with it. And Netlify is making a lot of news these days. So they are acquiring like uh, other companies. So FeaturePick is uh, a very good company regarding like feature flags. So they have acquired that from basically they're awesome for big companies, small companies, startups and all those things. And with adding these features to them and giving it to you, basically you can deliver more mature product, even if you are a startup. So if, even if you are a startup, you can implement an infrastructure that it it's just possible for very big companies. And that's something that is awesome about them. 
and now I think it's time to go and start writing or like getting my our hands dirty with some good project uh, okay uh, let's go to Cloudflare pages website and that is pages.cloudflare.com you go inside you'll see this one you can either sign up for it or just logging in if you have an account in there I have an account in there and then going to pretty much show you your projects in here so for this demonstration I'm going to use uh, ASCO that is like a team uh, of a project and going to use ASCO uh, it's like open source template that is for Jekyll Jekyll is uh, kind of like a static site generator it's using MD files if you want to know about the MD files these are the MD files that MD files they have some kind of like really I can write it oh yeah so they have some kind of like you see this like different layout you have some kind of like writing that is different like you're using these kind of like languages to make your uh, document better so if you want to like compare it if you know about latex that's something similar with this but this one is much more intuitive than latex and then we have here uh, the website also it's currently like the team itself the demo uh, page is like hosted in here that is like ascoteam.netlify so basically the team is currently on netlify let's implement the same thing on uh, basically pages cloudflare pages and maybe compare this fit so we have this uh, repository in here let's get the repo and then create a project go in there and kind of fork it which is something interesting okay I have just forked it and now I should be able to kind of like create a page with this account and here it is ASCO and going to the next one project name is this one yeah branch is master framework is Jekyll I have my personal weblog with this like the same team and same uh, kind of framework Jekyll and this is Jekyll big build yeah so most of them they are like pretty much like filled up for you if you have chosen your template rightly and then you can just save and deploy so deployment process begins in, uh, instantly and it's some kind of like CI CD that is like doing the development deployment for you and then I'm just going to continue with the project uh, the reason behind that is that I want to assign some kind of custom domain for it so I want to assign a custom domain for it I can say testing.releasechannel.com and then I have it so it says that just make a C name of testing to this content page so sure I will do that activate domain it takes a bit of time but I have my domain also with Cloudflare so let's see how much time it will take and let's log in we have release channel in here we go to DNS I use Cloudflare for my every website that I have uh, it's basically free and helps you have HTTPS which is much professional than anything else so it said that you make it see name record on your DNS uh, with the name testing and the target should be this one okay uh, going to save it already exists oh it has done it for me here it is so it, they are kind of like connected and it's making it for you that's awesome it wasn't there before let's see so it says that you're going to be notified by email okay anyway our build is still in the progress <laughs> okay now uh, let's bring up the Google's page speed and compare these two applications 
first of all let's go with the Netlify's application and see what is the score of it okay we have 95 in mobile and we have 99 on desktop that's amazing uh, that's generally what score what what score you will get with uh, some kind of like Jamstack website that's usually high more than 90 usually but let's see if the build is done yes everything is done let's see if I can load it or the DNS has been propagated this thing that release channel.com yes it's up let's do a test on this one So we have it in here that's the same website just different providers one of them is netlify the other one is cloudflare okay here we have 95 and here we have 99 oh interesting almost the same score yes completely same score and let's see if the numbers are correct yeah, or the same yes exactly the same offering interesting uh, beforehand I wasn't like witnessing the same approach but it's again like it's good so both of, both of the like the Netlify and Cloudflare pages it seems that they are having same uh, speed so here we have this one here we have this one yep So I can say that now it's a draw in there, but my experience shows it's still like Cloudflare is faster, although like here we have a draw or maybe Netlify has now better like content delivery network. That is something that we like and I will not hesitate to go to Netlify because they have more mature environment. But at the end of the day, the good thing for you and for me is that we have learned about Cloudflare pages, we have learned about Jamstack, and we have implemented something that is pretty easy. So uh, looking forward to your comments, your ideas, and if you're planning or like suggesting me to work on the Netlify, please uh, put on the comments and sure, I will make a video for it. Thank you.